with my children's favorite dish. I call this Monterey Jack chicken. They call it um, black bean chicken, but I call it Monterey Jack chicken. Now let's get started. On to cook here, I've got uh, water on the boil, and we're just gonna boil up enough servings of rice to feed four people. And then this pan here, and a little bit of peanut oil, I have two large chicken breasts. And I've coated them with a little bit of um, cornstarch. And I'm just going to fry those up until they're done. And then I'm going to take them over to the meat board. I'm going to cut these up into one inch pieces. And now we're going to make the sauce. The sauce consists of about, oh, I'd say about three quarters of a cup of ketchup. Two to three tablespoons of oyster sauce tablespoon to two tablespoons of gluten-free uh, soy sauce. I get tamari. And then I use uh, a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of this Arizona heat by Coops. That's a little bit of heat. And I'm just going to add a teaspoon of this sesame oil. Now I've combined that and I've added a half of a can, three quarters of a can of black beans that have been drained and rinsed. I'm just going to give that a really good stir. Okay, and then also to this, I'm going to add about a half of a teaspoon of sugar. Just plain white sugar. Brown sugar works. Can't really taste it, but actually sugar holds down the, um, the gas problem with the beans. I don't know if people know that or not, that you add just a little bit of sugar to your chili or whatever, and it cuts back the problem with beans so we always add about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of sugar whenever we're cooking with natural beans now I've added a little bit of this chili garlic sauce uh, about a half a teaspoon adjust the heat till you get it to how you like it we're gonna give this a little taste mmm oh that's a nice tang to it Ooh, just a little bit of heat that is perfect Remember when you're cooking with a uh, stainless steel a skillet of any type, you want a hot skillet and you want cold oil. Then you put your dredged chicken or a bare chicken in here or meat of any kind. And then you um, fry this up until it's golden. And you can see I got a nice crispy crust on this. Mmm, that's perfect. And this didn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Now, if you have to re, uh, deglaze your pan before you clean it, if you do get pieces that are stuck on, just add two cups of water, bring that up to a boil with a flat uh, spoon like this, then just scrape it up just a little bit, and that will save you a lot of time with scrubbing dishes. And that is my tip of the day. Now, we can either plate this, you know, just take the standard and build the rice and the chicken in the sauce and then add the chicken with the cheeses and the sour cream on top or we can put this in a uh, burrito shell a, um, a tortilla shell and that's what we're going to be doing tonight okay, after about eight nine minutes I went ahead and um, my spoon here. went ahead and turned the rice off but I kept it on the glass top. When you got a glass top like this, it holds its heat. So you can go ahead and turn it off a few minutes prior to the rice being done. Give that a flip. I'll go ahead and remove that from the heat. Let that finish. Okay, now I have cut my chicken up. It was still a little pink on the thicker parts of the breast meat. So I cut my chicken up and added it back to the pan. I'm just simmering it here for another minute or two, and then I'm going to add our sauce. Okay, after about two or three more minutes of this chicken cooking, I'm just going to add my sauce. Give it a stir. Mmm, doesn't that look delicious? Of our 
of rice. I'd say probably a cup's worth, a cup and a half. There we go. Just another stir. You can make this however. The rice kind of tones down the heat a little bit. Makes it nice and thick. Okay. And that's it. We are ready to fill our burrito shell. Okay, bring your center burner to a medium high heat and place on your tortilla. A few seconds to warm so it'll melt your cheese. Sprinkle on your Monterey Jack cheese. And then we just want to sprinkle on careful now don't let this burn we just want to sprinkle on and once you have filled this up it's going to put on a little bit of salsa just a little okay, we're going to add a couple of dollops of sour cream and then we're going to transfer this onto a plate we're just going to give this a nice fold to a burrito shape Another dollop of sour cream to the top. And a little bit more salsa. And there you have it, my black bean burrito. This is Chef Janie. Enjoy.